What's up, football fans? Mr. Octagon here from Octagon Gaming. Now we are back with our NFL draft. All the clocks is here. So today we're going to be talking about what the New Orleans Saints should do. Last episode we talked about what the Bills should do. Next episode we're going to talk about what the Eagles should do. So make sure you watch out for that. So, what I've been doing the past three or four episodes is going by position. See if the team needs that position. Talk about potential players that could be good there. Quarterback. Drew Brees is a pretty darn good quarterback. Don't get me wrong. But... He's, he's, he's not getting any younger. He is almost 40. So he's getting up there in age. So quarterback would not be bad. Mitchell Trubisky, I say there's a 6.7% chance that he falls to 11. A bit, a bit like exact, but I just felt doing it there. So I don't think he's going to fall up to 11. Patrick Mahomes, I say there's about, maybe, if, I'd say 50-50 that he falls to 11. Deshaun Watson, I'd say there's a 65% chance he falls to 11. And Deshaun Kaiser, I would say there's about a 97% chance. Running back. They could use another running back. Well, I like Mark Ingram, but I think they could definitely use another running back. Lennon Fournette, he's not falling to 11. Christian McCaffrey, he'll, I think he'll fall to 11. Same with Dalvin Cook. I think they'll both be falling or fall to 11. Receiver. They just, the Saints just traded Brandon Cooks. They absolutely need a receiver. Brandon Cooks is a speedy guy. So, maybe their consolation prize could be John Ross. He obviously ran a 4-2-2 this year's 40. But if not him, maybe Corey Davis or Mike Williams. Any of them would be good for the Saints. They give Drew Brees a target. Tight end, I'm not huge on Kobe Fleener, so maybe they should take a tight end. And I actually have him taking O.J. Howard at 11. In my mock draft. Now remember, before we go on, the Saints, they did trade Brandy Cooks for the last pick in the first round. So we're going to be talking about what we should do there too. So if they don't take OJ Howard here, maybe they take David Njoku there. Do I think Njoku will fall to the last pick of the first round? No, I don't. But maybe Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram had a really good combine. I am surprised he did not go up a lot of draft boards. I really like Evan Ingram. All these tight ends had really good combines. And Joku's a freak. OJ Howard had a really good combine. He's blowing up draft boards. So I have them going OJ Howard. Offensive line, that team could definitely use off some offensive linemen. But I don't think any offensive linemen are worthy to take it here. The best one, in my opinion, is Forrest Lamp, the guard from Western Kentucky. He could be a Zach Martin. Zach Martin was a middle first round guard. And he blossomed for the Cowboys. He blossomed into a beautiful butterfly. So their whole offensive line. That's what I want the Lions to do. I want the Lions to have a sick offensive line. But I do want us to draft defense this year. But we're going to talk about the Lions in the Lions episode. So, let's move to the defensive line. Now, they drafted Sheldon Rankins in the first round last year. And I love Sheldon Rankins. I wanted the Lions to get him. But he obviously was not available in the Lions to him. But I love Sheldon Rankins. I absolutely love him. But he did not play at all last year due to an injury. I have them taking Malik McDowell from Michigan State with that last pick. He's a defensive tackle. I view Rankins as a defensive tackle. He can play tackle or end. They have a few young defensive linemen. They have Cameron Jordan, so defensive line is not their biggest need. However, getting another pass rusher that could really help them. They'll have McDowell and Rankins added to that defensive line to join Cameron Jordan. Linebackers, they could use some linebackers. Ruben Foster, he might fall to 11. He'd be a nice pick from Saints. Hassan Reddick, he's an absolute freak of nature. He would be great for the Saints. He, he is a, a freak. You don't see very many Hassan Reddicks in your daily lives with his athleticism. The secondary, they... Yeah. Yeah, they don't have a good secondary at all. Cornerbacks. Now, I like Delvin Bro, but he's one person. They need two corners. Marshall Lattimore is not falling to eleven. But Marlon Humphrey or Gary on Conley would both be great picks here for the Saints. Because cornerback's a big need. I honestly wish I had him taken a quarterback in 32. In mock drafts, I've seen I've, they've been taking a Dore Jackson from USC. And I love a Dore Jackson. I, 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 if the Lions got him in the first round, I will be thrilled. Safety. They could use the safety. I really like Kenny McCarl. I don't even know if Kenny McCarl is still there. And Jerry Spurn is, is not a good contract there. 
So, Jamal Adams is not falling to 11. Malik Coker, I don't think he's going to fall to 11. So, I don't know who they take. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, next episode, we're going to be talking about the Eagles should do. Stay tuned for that. Peace.